How is Penny Mordant not only revolting, but just plain evil? But anyway, before we go on, a trigger warning. If you've lost a loved one to addiction, or you know someone who is suffering with addiction, and you know this will upset you, turn off now, won't be a problem, and I will totally understand. But anyway, in this week's Business of the House, Leader of the House, Penny Mordant, was brought to task with words she said last week by SNP MP Stuart Malcolm MacDonald that clearly triggered a personal family tragedy. A few short years ago, my brother died by himself at home and alone, having taken an overdose of drugs following a life of serious harmful addiction. Last week, the leader stood at that dispatch box and dismissed the pilot in Scotland of drug consumption facilities. She dismissed them as somewhere safe and warm for heroin users, people like my brother, to take their heroin. But it's a healthcare facility designed to help people with addiction problems and turn their lives around. She did it in the most ignorant and contemptuous way possible. So can I invite the leader to my constituency to meet with the families who are thankful that a pilot is finally taking place? And maybe she'll come back and make an apology in her statement at the dispatch box. And given her love of clicks, if she puts it on Twitter, I'll even share it. Yeah, yeah, well said. Well, the honourable right. gentleman can go and look at uh, last week's Hansard because that is not what I said. I was actually saying that that would be a legacy uh, of the Scottish Nationalist Party. Well, Poundland Penny, let's go one better and let's watch what you actually said last week. A wrecked education system, a widening attainment gap, fewer teachers, math sort scores declining in every PISA survey, science at a low record, and plummeting uh, literacy rates. But they will have, of course, somewhere safe and warm in which to take heroin. I'm not going to take any lectures from the Honourable Lady uh, about values, responsibility, uh, or performance in office. This is why I will get up every week and stand up and fight against the slopey-shouldered separatism evidenced by the SNP. The slopey shouldered separatism evidence by the SNP remark, that's for another video. But what you said paints a very different picture to what's written down on paper, doesn't it, fight night penny? But it gets even worse. What I was criticising the Scottish National Party for is having let down a generation of children by destroying an education system, reducing the number of teachers uh, that are there, by starving schools of resources, uh, for widening the attainment gap and many other things. Um, I, I'm sorry for the, uh, the, genuinely sorry for the honourable gentleman's loss, um, and I know uh, a, a great deal about um, the particular pilot. Now, if I was Stuart Malcolm MacDonald at this point, I would have told the Leader of the House to shove her patronising sympathy right up her sanctimonious, slopey-shouldered backside and stick it where the sun doesn't shine. And this government is uh, um, supportive of the Scottish Government doing uh, this pilot. But I would just say to the Honourable Gentleman, his obligations to the children of Scotland uh, are important and they are failing them and I will not apologise for holding him and his party to account. Well, if you support it, why did you ridicule it the week before? I think we all know that she wasn't endorsing it, was she? She was on one of her ridiculous fight night rants. Maybe it's the Deirdre Brock effect. But that's for the next video, so I shall just leave this one here and I shall just bid you farewell and take care, my friends.